Let's start first with this awful murder of a Detroit nurse. Uh, the chief uh, a few minutes ago classifying this homicide as a domestic situation. Apparently that nurse we spoke of, Patrice Wilson, and this suspect, Jameer, uh, Jameer Miller, had recently broken up and he would not take no for an answer. We understand that he turned himself in Sunday at the Detroit Detention Center alongside his attorney, and those charges for now are pending. But after his picture has been circulating, here on Fox 2, really all over social media the last couple of days. Some things have come to light, and apparently Miller is tied to another missing woman from back in 2011. It's just, it's, it's freaky. When news spread last weekend that 36 year old Jameer Miller was wanted in connection to the kidnapping and murder of local nurse Patrice Wilson, it hit differently for this family. Jameer, the grandson, say, Ma, daddy on TV. They were sitting in the living room and he was watching TV and he was on the news. Jameer Miller Sr. is linked to a missing nursing student, 24 year old Bianca Green, who went missing in 2011. Last seen in Inkster, she was pregnant. Miller and Bianca had dated and have a child together, Jameer Jr. Here is Miller at a Crime Stoppers press conference back then holding their son. It's hard being a, a single father, and it's hard for, for me to even tell him what's going on. We ain't never give up hope, but we was trying to give Jameer the benefit of the doubt. But now, after 12 years, this family is questioning everything. After learning Miller was arrested in connection to Patrice's death, she was found shot to death in the trunk of her car in Novi after being kidnapped, leaving for work at Detroit Receiving Hospital Saturday. In Bianca's case, family always suspected foul play. You know she wouldn't have left Jameer Jr. She wouldn't have never left Jameer. That was her, like her Velcro. She wouldn't have never left her son. Miller has an extensive criminal history for gun and drug charges, assault, drunk driving, and running from police. He was questioned, but never charged in Bianca's disappearance. Romulus police, who led that case, did not respond to our calls to see if the case will now be reexamined. What do you hope comes out of this now that Jameer's in custody? That we get some type of closure. Chief White very much aware of that case involving Bianca Green. He says they're now working with Romulus police, sharing notes, comparing investigations to now see if this changes anything from a case. This family has been desperately uh, looking for answers over the last 12 years. I can't imagine it wouldn't be reexamined at this point. Now involving the latest homicide that we were discussing earlier, uh, no charges against Miller at this point. We will continue to keep in touch with the prosecutor's office. Reporting live downtown Detroit, Jeff Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Jess, we're hearing about this quite a bit. Just the other day, a well-known Oakland County employee died in a domestic murder-suicide situation. Now this seems like this is an issue that just is getting worse in many ways. That is exactly what the chief said earlier today. He said they are seeing a rise in domestic violence here in Detroit alone. 12 people victims of homicide, and the chief is classifying those as domestic violence related. All right, Jessica Dupnack for us live. Thanks for that report.